What's up, pranksters? Well, as you can see, I'm ready to party. I got the balloons, the party hat, because in this video, I'm gonna show you five pranks you can do at a birthday party. Check it out. Let's begin with our first prank, and what we're gonna do is booby trap a party balloon. So get yourself a decorative party balloon like this one. This one says happy birthday. You're also gonna need a fart bag, of course, because we're gonna cut it open and take out that stinky powder that's inside. So let's begin by doing that. Take a pair of scissors and cut it open. Oh, this stuff stinks big time. So grab a spoon and take out some of that stinky powder and put some inside the balloon. Now it doesn't take that much for it to stink up a place so you don't have to add the whole thing just just a bit you know not too much just just like that and uh, then you're gonna blow up the balloon it's best if you inflate the balloon with helium because we want it to be floating but since I couldn't do that I'm just gonna show you an example of how this prank would work with helium so blow up the balloon <laughs> about this size is perfect and just tie the balloon now remember, if it was helium, this would be trying to float up, but since it's not, it's gonna stay put. But if you guys can hear that sound, that's that stinky powder from the fart bag. You're gonna need two needles like these and a cotton ball. Basically, pierce the cotton ball with the needles. Make sure to push them in as far as they will go, but not enough that it will go all the way through the cotton ball, just a little bit. Like this, you can barely see the tip, um, push it back in. You don't want them to stick out just yet. On the top of the balloon, apply some glue. I'm gonna use this little glue stick right here and apply a little bit of glue because we're gonna stick the cotton ball on top of the balloon like that. It should look like this. Let it dry and the prank is almost set. So basically guys, what we're doing here is we're gonna be making a balloon stink bomb. Sounds good, right? Well, let me show you a little example. Here's the balloon. As you can see, the top has the cotton ball. And for safety purposes, you might wanna add another cotton ball on top just to protect uh, whoever this uh, falls on. It's not really gonna fall on anybody, at least I don't think. But if it did, make sure to put an extra cotton ball on top just so that it doesn't uh, hurt anybody. All right, so here's the balloon. And of course, if you were to do this prank, make sure that the balloon has actual helium in there. So you're just gonna put it alongside the other balloons just to make it seem normal, right? The more balloons you have, the better because obviously they'll be able to hide that cotton ball. Always make sure that the booby trap balloon is in the middle and the one on top. Okay, so you show up at the party with some balloons, right? Hey, happy birthday, bro, whatever, you know? And you give them the balloons, but make sure the balloons are kind of up here above your uh, victim's uh, height so that they can't see the cotton ball. So just give them the balloons. You know, eventually they'll set them aside. In fact, they'll let them go up. And once the balloons hit the ceiling, the balloon is gonna pop and it's gonna release that horrible smell. Just watch. So the balloons would be floating up. And there you have it, a huge stink bomb. Everybody would be smelling that sh Up next, we're gonna booby trap a party blowout. You know what these are, right guys? You blow on them and this happens. Well, it doesn't take much to booby trap one of these. All you basically gotta do is fill it up with some powder of your choice, of course. I'm gonna dip it in this bag and try to get a bit of uh, powder in it. Put it in there. And kind of scoop up a bit of uh, powder. The amount is up to you, but I'm choosing not to put in a lot. And then just tap it in a bit and it'll go down. Right? Now, once it gets to the bottom, because you want the powder to get to reach the ends other because otherwise you don't want your victim breathing it in. So unroll the end and stick a pencil in there. All the way in. And now it'll be easier for the powder to reach the other end. Shake it a bit and you might want to blow on it too. And once you get to that point, just remove the pencil and then just put it back to normal. All the powder is already on this end. So when they blow on it, this will happen. 
as you just saw, you blew out all that powder and onto the floor. Hopefully your victim doesn't blow this on anybody's face. Make sure that they won't do that, otherwise you try to block it or whatever. Safety always comes first when it comes to pranking, so always prank carefully. Now, if you're the one hosting the party and you want to pull a little prank on your guests, go ahead and, uh, and do this prank. It's quite simple. Basically, you take a party hat, right? And for this prank, you're also going to need a straw. Begin to cut the straw about three inches. So one and then another three inches. Like this. And then take a piece of tape and cover one end. We want to block off this end right here. So we're going to use tape to do that. So just, so just cover it up and do the same to the other straw. Once you've done that, put the straws inside the party hat with tape, attach them on there. This is what it should look like now that you've attached it with some tape. Here I got the syringe I always use and I filled it up with water. And then what I'm gonna do is just fill up the straws with water. And that's pretty much it, pranksters. Once you filled up the straws, place a party hat like this, and the straws are up here, so therefore they can't leak out until your guest comes over and tries to put on the hat. And when they flip it over, all that liquid is gonna fall on their head. And it's just a little prank you can do at your own party. Now let's say you're at the party and it's kind of boring, nothing exciting is going on. Go to the snack table, which should have the drinks, and let's pretend these are filled with water, right? Hopefully you can find a piece of tape. You might want to steal one from one of the presents that are there, or a piece of gum. So chew a piece of gum and then stick it on the bottom of the cup. But in this case, I'm going to use tape just for the demo. So here I'm just going to use a clear piece of tape. Attach it to the cup and then tape it to the tablecloth like this you can't really see it now if you had a piece of gum you stick it underneath and that too people can't see it so i'm getting kind of tired of cleaning up this this mess is now let's pretend the cups are filled with kool-aid or whatever the guests are drinking and now this cup right here is the one that we booby trapped so basically next person that grabs that cup is going to pull on all the cups and it's going to make a huge mess at the party here's a little demo of that oh that would totally suck right especially if there's people around uh, people's shoes would get dirty girls dresses would get stained go ahead and have fun with this prank and now we're on to our last prank in here i don't know if you guys know what these are but these are sparklers you light them up and they start releasing these little sparks which are really fun if you uh if you ever had a chance to light one up so th this is what they look like so of course you light up the tip and then sparks start coming out until it runs out so basically what we're gonna do is cut off the tip just about half an inch or so so be careful when doing this because it's kind of hard but go ahead and cut it like this so there you go you have the tip right there and then what we're gonna do is grab the candle off of the cake and booby trap it we're gonna get rid of the candle wick so you might want to either twist it off and if you can't cut it off but make sure you get rid of it Take the little tip you cut off that sparkler and jam it inside the candle right where the wick used to be. So push it in all the way and that's it. You just replace the candle wick with an actual sparkler. Let's see what happens when they light up this candle. So let's pretend this is our cake right here. <laughs> it's a little pie with whipped cream. Anyways, I didn't want to buy a whole cake just for the demo. So, okay, you guys get the idea. This is a candle and this is a cake. Put the candle on top of the cake like this. Perfect. Whoever lights up this candle is going to be like, what the hell is that on top? But, I mean, they won't think anything of it. They'll just think that it's some kind of new type of candle. So uh, they're just gonna light it up and people are gonna surround the cake waiting for that birthday person to blow out the candle. So this is what's gonna happen, pranksters. They'll just think it's a regular candle and then this will happen. <laughs> That's pretty fun, huh? <laughs> Now they do sell these type of candles at stores, but you can make your own as you just saw me. That's it pranksters, five birthday pranks you can try next time you attend a party. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Now also, if you guys have suggestions for more videos such as car pranks or more school pranks, let me know in the comments. I always like coming up with new pranks, so let me know what you guys wanna see and I'll try to bring them to you. Thanks for watching, pranksters. Just unscrew the stick from the brush. Take the flour and dump it in there. You basically take a scoop of peanut butter and we're gonna smear it all over the bottom of the uh, dustpan. Take a blade and separate the layers. You might also wanna spread the Kool-Aid just so it doesn't make a bump when you uh, put the layers together. Once it gets full, here's what will happen when they try to take out the bag.